A much longer trip home for Americans who were caught in the Caribbean when Hurricane Irma hit. In fact, this number tonight, more than 2,000 Americans have now made it out onto U.S. military planes and on private cruise ships as conditions on those islands continue to deteriorate. ABC's David Wright is in San Juan tonight. On some of the hardest hit islands here in the Caribbean, including St. Thomas and St. Martin, destruction is now giving way to despair. Water and food, we don't have that. The U.S. military has been scrambling to help stranded Americans who faced a long wait. Right now is a rescue mission. Lieutenant Colonel Humberto Pabril of the Puerto Rico National Guard has piloted several of the giant C-17s packed with people. When they see the U.S. flag, it's like, we're coming home. In some cases, cruise ships have come to the rescue. Craig Schweiger was stuck on St. Thomas, hoping to get on a ship chartered by Marriott. But his group was turned away. So the ship left with plenty of empty spaces. Plenty of empty spaces. Just because they were the lights off, left us there to get back. Marriott says it wanted to help, but says its team on the ground was told by dock security they had no authorization to board additional passengers who were not on the manifest. The troops here say the Americans who needed rescue are now safely out, and the focus now turns to the desperate people left behind. David? David, right tonight on the long trip home. David, our thanks to you. Tonight, Irma is officially gone. What's left is rain, but what about Jose? Hard to believe we have to ask this. This hurricane just behind Irma now. Tonight, the track does show it could very well affect the east coast of the United States with, at the very least, very heavy surf. ABC Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z at the Weather Wall back in New York tonight. Ginger? David, you can barely see the center of Irma or what's left of it. You can see northern Mississippi and Alabama. That's the center. But then the rain shield from Louisiana all the way up into Pennsylvania, this thing has weakened considerably. And now our attention has to turn to Jose. Out there in the Atlantic, well east of the Bahamas, it looks not that healthy on satellite. It's run into a lot of dry air, a lot of wind shear. It's going to get more favorable environment after it runs over its own cold water and then try to turn away from the United States. I think we could all use that break on the current track, keeping only high surface and rip currents for the East Coast. David. Let's keep Jose out at sea. Ginger Z, our thanks to you tonight. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.